stop kicking my chair. Well, stop banging my elbow. Hey, what's going on, kittens? Kit won't stop bothering me. Nuh-uh. She's the one bothering me. How about we take a little story break? Yeah, let's make up a story about a pest who just wanted to be left alone. Come on, you two. And what should we call this story? Move it! Once upon a time, there was an ant who set off to find the perfect spot to spend his summer vacation. Yes, queen. No, queen. Move this crumb. Build that hill. Boy, do I need this vacation. This is it. This is my spot. What a perfect view. Huh? Oh, what a perfect view. Out of my way! Who do you think you are? I can't see a thing! Move it! <laughs> Oh, if I had some extra muscles, I would just move you right out of my way. Hey, we got plenty of muscles. More than enough to help him move that dinosaur. Wow, you're not kidding. Come on, Kit. Let's make that dinosaur move it. Go, kitty kitties. Let's go. How are you? We're that muscle you need. Let's show that dinosaur what time it is. Uh, what time is it? Time for him to move it. Come on! Move, move it! it. <laughs> I think our muscles need some extra muscle. Talking. It's time to take our view back. Move it! <laughs> Looks like our extra muscles need some extra muscles. This'll wake him up. Ready! Aim! Push him out of the way. This'll send him flying. Geronimo! Uh-oh. Whoa! Where'd he go? Mars? I'm over here. Where? Where? Let's go! You see, instead of moving the dinosaur, all we had to do was move ourselves. Good move, Kit! Ah, now I can finally relax. What, what a, a perfect, perfect view. view! Chester, what are you doing hiding here behind that tree? Hmm. Hello, dear. I've been looking for you everywhere. Ah, oh, what a perfect view. Guess it's time to move again. Great story, Dad. Glad you liked it. Kate, where are you going? I'm gonna move. Good idea, Kate. I'll move too. Oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, kittens, I found the checkerboard, but I can't find the checkers. That's okay, Grandpa. Why don't we make up a story instead? Good idea. All we need for that is our imagination. It can be about a squirrel princess. Who buries things, because that's what squirrels do. And what should we call it? I know. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, the squirrel princess was getting ready for a nut hunting journey with her cook, Bertrand. She had to hide some of her prized possessions. Like her favorite pickles. Not pickles. My tiara. And my precious and rare giggle nut. <laughs> she was worried that someone might take them while she was gone. So she buried them. Perfect. No one will find them here. Safe and sound. All aboard! Farewell, my nutty friends. When we return, we shall have a nutty party. And I shall prepare a nutty noodle tower. Yes, with giggle nut sauce. It's delicious. After months of nut hunting, the squirrel princess and Bertrand return with a big heavy bag of nuts. You're telling me. It's time for you to make the finest nutty noodle tower ever. With giggle nut sauce. Oh, right. How could I forget? I'll be right back with my giggle nut. Oh, where is my giggle nut? I forgot where I buried my treasure. Help! The squirrel princess needs some help. We can be treasure hunters. And help the squirrel princess find her giggle nut. Go, kitty kitties, let's go! We'll help you find your giggle nut. Do you remember anything about where you buried it? I buried it with my tiara. Ah, oh, my tiara! I need it for the party! Don't worry, princess. We've got a map. A what? A map. It shows us where we are. See? We're here at the castle. There's the lake and the bridge and the cave. Let's start our search right there, near the lake. Find anything? Ew, that's oh. disgusting! <laughs> Let's try this spot beside the bridge. <clears throat> what did you find? It's heavy. <clears throat> oh, just a chest of gold. Let's look in the cave. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? Look for the giggle nut tree on the map. I don't see it. Because it wasn't here before. <gasps> My giggle nut must have grown into a tree. Give me that shovel. Uh, 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 uh. My tiara. Now you'll have tons of giggle nuts. <laughs> Bertrand, this is the giggliest nutty noodle tower ever! <laughs> <laughs> the next time you bury something valuable, just mark where you put it on the map. With a big X. Good idea. What's buried at that X? This valuable map. So from then on, the Squirrel Princess never lost anything ever again. That was a great story. Now we can play checkers. But we don't have any checkers. Yes, we do. They're right here, where we always keep them. Safe and sound. Why didn't you tell me? Because we like making up stories with you. Let me write that down so I don't forget. <laughs> <laughs>
Sonic Kitty! 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 How about using some of your special power to help clean up the yard? Atomic Kitty would rather use his special powers to destroy things like that evil rake. Rake, prepare to feel the crunching power of Atomic Kitty! Give your powers a little break while I tell you two a story about a mountain goat who had special powers of his own. And what's the name of the story? Chew on this. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, in the mountain town of Godica, lived a young goat named Goaty. I'm hungry. Help yourself to a pickle. Thanks. Have as many as you like. <laughs> Wow, you really are hungry. And a barrel, too. I've never seen that before. But I'm still hungry. I gotta see what he's gonna eat next. I wanna see that, too. So do I. Then what are we waiting for? Go, go kitty, kitty, kitties, kitties, let's go! So what's next, Goaty? Not sure, but I'm feeling the need to chew. I am hungry. Help yourself. <laughs> wow! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, awesome! Oh, Incredible. Well, how was it? Crunchy, but I'm still hungry. So, what do you say? One scoop or two? I'll take the whole cart. Oh, my. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> All right. Wow. Hey, eat my bulldozer. Okay. Goody. Come on, Goody. 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 Yeah, You'll make me proud to be from Godica. Thanks. Guess I was born to chew. So, what are you going to eat next? I could eat. The whole town! Done! That's everything! But I'm still hungry. What about the bridge? Yeah! Bridge! 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 bridge. This will be my greatest eat ever! The Golden Goat Bridge! Eat our bridge! Eat our bridge! Eat our bridge! Eat our bridge! Hey, where does the bridge lead to, Goaty? It leads to our field, where we grow our food. Wait, but if you eat the bridge, you'll all go hungry. Oh, don't eat our bridge! So, should I go to the fields and eat all of our food? No! But I need to chew! You want me to eat rocks? Hmm, it's really tasty. You can eat rocks? Apparently so. You thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Goaty, we know something you can really sink your teeth into. Oh, yum! <laughs> I call it Mount Goatmore! Goaty! Goaty! And that's how Goaty learned to use his special chewing powers to do something good. Pickle? Nah, I think I'm full. <laughs> yeah! Great story, Grandpa! Yeah! So, how will you use your special powers? Leaves! Prepare to feel the incredible raking power of... Atomic Kitty! 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 What should we do now, kittens? I vote we take a nap. <sighs> a nap? I want 
to make up a story. Me too. Well, that's two votes for a story and just one for a nap. So, story it is. What should it be about? A giant with three eyes. No, with three heads. Who never agree. Agreed. And I know just what to call it. Three who never agree. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a giant with three heads named Boris, Morris, and Horace. And they could never agree on anything. Let's take a tricycle ride. I don't want to. I want to clip our toenails. Well, we don't. Hmm. All right, we, we can, can make, make a spaghetti, spaghetti cake. No, I want us to catch a dust ball on our tongues. Well, well we don't. Hmm. All, All right. right. Let's, Let's watch, watch the, the news, news on TV. TV. I don't want to. I want to listen to the news on the radio. Well, we, we don't. don't. And because they couldn't agree on how to get the news, the giant never found out that flying in outer space, there was a problem, a giant problem, a meteor made of... Cabbage! No, ice cream. You're both right. Cabbage ice cream and it was headed straight for their house. Are they gonna find out before it's too late? Not unless somebody goes and tells them. That can be us. Yeah, we better hurry. Go, kitty kitties, let's go. Boris. Boris. Morris. How are you? No time to explain. Look. A meteor is headed right toward your house. Run. Stop! You have to calm down and figure out what to do. What can we do? You can move your house. Yeah, yeah we, we have, have to, to move. move. I agree entirely. We have to move. Wow, we all want the same thing. Put it there. You all agree. Great. Well, let's, let's move east to Stinky Forest. forest. East? No. Let's move west to Mosquito Lake. West? Then, then we're, we're not moving, moving anywhere. anywhere. Me neither. <laughs> you guys? Uh, guy? Which is it? Guy. No, guy. There's no time to disagree. Look. Ice, Ice cream. cream. Yum. Yum. Looks like cabbage to me. No, it's the meteor. Guys, there's one vote for Mosquito Lake and two votes for Stinky Looks like Stinky Forest is the winner. No fair. I'm not going. Does anyone want to change their vote? Like in the next few seconds? Well, we could visit Mosquito Lake every summer. Yes, Morris. That's when the mosquitoes are really biting. Hmm. Please hurry. Well, OK. That's how we voted. Oh, how stinky. I vote we eat this ice cream. I agree. Me too! And every summer, the giants moved their house to Mosquito Lake when the bugs were really biting. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Great story, Grandpa. Now I vote for a nap. Meow, too. Nap? I want to play tic-tac-toe. Sorry, Grandpa. That's two votes for a nap and one for tic-tac-toe. The nap wins. Well, OK. Are in the sink. Can we go play now? 
Of course. Just remember to put your coats on. Aw, do we have to? You know the rule. When it's cool outside, you can't go out without a coat. That rule is so dumb. Yeah. Ha, if you think that's a dumb rule, then I have a story for you. Really? What's it called? Rulandia Rules. <laughs> <laughs> Far away in the land of Rulandia, President Rulando loved making rules for everything. To make sure you don't bump into one another, you have to make a siren noise when you walk down the street. <laughs> you have to eat soup with a fork. It lasts longer that way. Ugh. Everyone must wear a helmet outside in case frogs fall from the sky. This is ridiculous. The citizens of Rolandia got tired of having so many dumb rules, and so they voted for a new leader. Us! Yeah! We won the election! Oh, congratulations! Now Rolandia won't have to follow all those dumb rules. Right! Go, go Kitty Kitties, let's go! Citizens of Rolandia, we thank you for believing in us! siren noises when you walk down the street. Yeah! No more eating soup with a fork. Yeah! And no more wearing helmets outside. Yeah! Come to think of it, who needs rules? You're right, Kate. New rule. Rulandia no longer has any rules at all. Yeah! Let's make Rulandia great again. Yeah! <laughs> Everyone will be happier now without all those dumb rules. They sure will. Hey! What's going on? Whoa! Ugh. You can't just throw trash on the street. Why not? There's no rule against it. Well, there should be. New rule! You have to throw your trash into trash cans. Police! Help! Someone is stealing all of my things! What do you want me to do? There's no rule against that. Huh? Well, there should be uh, another rule. You cannot take things that don't belong to you. Ah, uh, but can I keep this stuff? No! Rats. You can't cross the street like that. Why not? There's no rule against it. Well, there is now. You can only cross the street at crossing places. And if you're a kid, you have to cross with a grown-up. Right. That was a very important rule. I don't know why you ever got rid of it. Sorry, that was a bad idea. Yeah, I guess not every rule is dumb. Like washing your hands before you eat. And not hitting anybody. And tying your shoes. And saying please and thank you. Yeah, those are pretty good rules. And so is eating soup with a fork. It really does make it last longer. No, that was a dumb rule. But if you want to eat soup with a fork, go ahead. Thanks. Okay, Grandpa. We'll put our coats on before we go out. Yeah, we get it. You don't want us to get sick. Right. Now let's go play. You can't go play until after you finish cleaning the dishes. I'll just do it when we're done playing. Sorry, Grandpa. You know the rule. What a dumb rule. <laughs> <laughs>